hello everyone this is Presenta. in this video i'm going to show you how to use 3 view control in visual basic 2008 as you can see i have already opened a visual basic project here i have one tree view control and three buttons the first button to create the parent node and second button is to create a child node and the third button is to remove any selected node uh, in this project what I was trying to do is like adding an expression create a category and create a subcategory for category selected category and remove any selected category okay uh, let's go ahead and get started to creating the category first therefore I'm gonna double click the category button all right first of all I need to get the information from the user so I can pass them to the tree view control I'm gonna use the input box to get the information from the user to code for that one it's dim str as a string equal to input box in the bracket you have to give a promote string I'm gonna enter enter the category category yes uh, if in case if user didn't enter any category or in case the user press cancel in the input box the str value is gonna be nothing uh, in that case we don't want to continue any further we just have to just exit the click event for that is if str equal to empty string then exit exit the su exit sub uh, otherwise create the category to create a category tree view one tree view one dot node dot add pass the str value okay uh, we can test the application before we go any further so i'm gonna run the application right now okay and i'm gonna press add category button uh, let's say I want to enter the category name color color yes and uh, another category name let's say country all right country yeah okay and this time I press I press add category and I'm gonna type something and I press cancel you, you can see it's nothing is happening here it's because uh, this line of code is this line of code is handling that situation if nothing just ignore everything Okay, now I'm going back into the form and I'm gonna press double click in the add subcategory button so we can start creating the subcategory for the category uh, here I'm gonna use the same technique to get the information from the user therefore I'm gonna just copy these two lines of code from the category and I'm gonna paste them inside the subcategory button click event and I'm gonna change this one to a little bit of change into the subcategory okay uh, now I'm gonna start with try because we're gonna get error message at one point so we have to prepare for handling the error message to create a subcategory you have to write the code tree view one tree view one which is my control name dot selected node dot node dot add pass the value str the selected node is actually the category uh, if user didn't select any category we're gonna get an error message to handle the error message uh, I'm gonna give a message to the user please select the category therefore in the exception handling parameter and I'm gonna place a message box dot show uh, excuse me guys press just okay here is show yeah i'm gonna type enter the category enter the category okay now we are ready to test the application one more time and i'm gonna run the application again okay i'm gonna create a couple of categories here uh, let's say color press okay yeah works fine another category country country okay oh sorry C O U N T R Y country okay at this point I didn't select any category from my mouse the, the category is not focused and if I try to add subcategory watch what happens 
uh, let's say uh, red I press OK and you get there you get the message here please select the category first to add the subcategory so I'm gonna click the color here and I'm gonna add a couple of subcategories here uh, let's say I'm gonna enter the category subcategory red already uh, red okay and another subcategory black black uh, as you can see if I ex if I extend this one you can see okay let's add some categ subcategory for country in the country let's say Canada okay okay everything works fine now let's get back into the code editor now let's remove the nodes yeah uh, I'm gonna get back into the Windows form and uh, this time I'm gonna double click the remove node Ah, didn't stop it here stop uh, remove node okay again I have to start here with try because if user didn't select any nodes we are gonna get the error message so we have to prepare for handling the error message try uh, tree view one dot selected node dot remove and to handle their message i'm gonna copy this one i'm gonna paste them here all right i'm gonna run the application one more time enter one some category here let's say color again okay and add some cut subcategories uh, red okay uh, let's say black black okay all right let's say I want to remove the black category and I just select the black and I remove them if I want to remove all the category I just press the color and I just press remove everything is gone there uh, all right guys thank you for watching this video i hope you enjoyed the video if you have any question or if you want to leave any comments please visit www.bb-heaven.com post your comments post your questions and we'll be answering your questions as soon as possible and thank you for watching this video